it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today I am back actually with a retail lot. One of you guys had sent me a picture over on Twitter of this really cute sort of like bookstore, library, I'm not really sure exactly what it was but I thought it was adorable and I took some inspiration from that to create this build. So what this is going to be is a little magical bookstore that's kind of nestled in the woods and there's an apartment up top so that way if you're playing here you can uh, stay upstairs. I feel like it'd be a really fun one to play as. It's definitely meant to be more for your spellcasters so I do have this placed in Glimmerbrook. So I was thinking that this shop would probably be selling all of your like spell books and brooms and things like that with a couple of random things around. I, I kind of had the idea of found objects and just random clutter that the person who runs this probably has acquired over time and now is for sale. So there's a lot of random stuff out front as well. I had a lot of fun decorating this lot and a lot of fun landscaping it. I love landscaping so much and I probably went overboard on this lot to be honest. I just kept adding plants because I really wanted it to be incredibly overgrown. I wasn't sure if I wanted this to be more of a tree house or more just like an overgrown property and I think it's somewhere in between. There's definitely like trees hovering over it. There's a tree that ends up growing off the back porch. So I'm not exactly sure where it stands in that regard, uh, but it's definitely overgrown and uh, we're not there yet, but there's gonna be a lot of plants on this lot, like a, a lot, a lot. Uh, we're gonna be starting that now and it takes quite a lot of time of this build. Oh, this debug tree I thought was so perfect. I love how the roots come out of the ground and then go back under a couple of times and then all the little mushrooms. I just really enjoyed that. And then this tree, which is got a really fun, like bulky uh, trunk, I thought was really nice as well. I just used a lot of plants and shrubbery and trees that I don't typically use in everyday builds because I thought they really fit this more magical whimsical feeling of this build. Uh, so that was definitely really fun to do. I don't do a whole lot of more supernatural builds very often aside from October. In October, if you're new to the channel, I kind of do only supernatural, creepy, scary, spooky builds because I love Halloween, <laughs> so uh, be on the lookout for that in a few months. I can't believe we're only three months away from October this year. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I am continuing to work on the outside. I've so far added a cauldron outside and some bookcases and like a little spell cabinet or a potion cabinet. I thought those would be cool things to be a little bit undercover and, you know, of course, do some shopping on your way into the shop. I think that's pretty realistic and also, the reference picture that one of you guys had sent me had some bookshelves that were sort of outside under a trellis, and I really, really enjoyed that. I definitely took a lot of strong inspiration from that photo. It really inspired this build, or I guess at least the base of the build, because you only see the front, you don't see the roof. I don't know what the inside looks like, I don't know what the back looks like, and I also just stopped looking at it at some point, but thanks again to whoever had sent that. Uh, if I remember, I will have plopped it up on screen at some point in time. Uh, but anyway, just decorating the outside some more here. I decided I wanted to get some pictures and as I found random sculptures and just stuff to put outside that I thought would look fun, I did that. Oh, I also have two different signs hanging up here. One that just has some simlish text on it and another one that has a book. I thought having multiple signs just looked kind of nice and uh, a little bit quirky. <laughs> so that's definitely what I was going for. Also this little, um, this like book cart. I think that came with get to work. I thought that was so perfect for this shop. Uh, I feel like that came with get to work for like the police station maybe? So the, the, the books go around? I'm not really sure. Did that come with get to work? Was it get together? I get the two confused sometimes, so I'm not really sure. But I feel like that works really well for like books you can go through that are outside in a space like this. And then I'm grabbing all of these brooms from Debug to place on a wall over here as like, which broom would you like? And uh, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of fun. At first I wasn't sure if these were gonna be for sale or if I was thinking more so, this is where you park your brooms when you get here. I guess it could be either. I didn't go ahead and set anything for sale to begin with. I figured if you wanted to play as this, 
use it as a retail shop. You could decide which items you would prefer to sell and which things you thought should definitely stay there because we'd probably have differing opinions on that. So I, I just didn't assign anything, but I added this lovely glowing orb in the, the cauldron and tons more plants. And I threw all those books on the ground because I'm going to in a little while stack them up using the red shelf so that there's just piles of like spell books. I thought it looked pretty cool, but as you can see already, I'm, I'm not even close to done with the landscaping here and it's already a little bit overboard and uh, I love that. I love doing that. So hopefully you guys enjoy how wild the landscaping on this lot gets because it was a lot of fun to do and very time consuming. I just get way into landscaping and I'm like, oh, it's been hours. Oops, I should eat something <laughs> because I'm just like, this plant should go here. I just get way too into it. I don't know why. But anyway, we're just finishing up placing some of those books, some more rocks, some more overgrown grass, and then I should be grabbing a debug fence, this one right here with the rocks and making it kind of wrap around this area and uh, enclose it a little bit so that I can go a little bit more wild inside of it with the landscaping. Honestly, I think I was just trying to give myself a limit, like, okay, you can't go past here. Don't make the entire lot plants that won't look good. You can make it a little bit more wild in this space, but try to keep it minimal outside of that. Some of it spilling out is fine. So we're adding a couple more plants over here, but it's definitely not as wild. <laughs> Granted, I just placed out a lot of plants on the outside of that, but uh, we're not gonna talk about that. Uh, I just, I, I had a little bit too much fun with landscaping. I apologize if it's a little bit too much for you guys. Uh, luckily you can delete as much as you want. If you think there's too much landscaping, I might have done a little bit too much, uh, but I like it, so. Yeah, that's why that's why it's like that. Uh, but I just added the roof to the house. It's a very simple roof. I had it overhang in the front so that there would be a covered balcony out back. There's also a balcony for the upstairs apartment. And then we're inside starting to work on the shop. I end up popping in and out of the build to continue working on the outside and coming back inside a bunch of times from now till the end. Uh, so apologies for that if that's frustrating. It's just as I thought of things or needed items, I popped to whatever section I was working on. Uh, so inside the bookstore, I really wanted to have one of these window seats. So I grabbed this one from Cats and Dogs. I thought it was really pretty. And then I had these white windows and a little bit of a white wall here to help the uh, gray frame of the couch blend in. And the reason I didn't pick one that had a brown base to it, I suppose, is because I didn't like the color of the cushions on those ones. I thought the purple looked a lot nicer in this space. Anyway, the bookstore interior is actually pretty small. I didn't imagine this was a big sprawling space with all of the things. I was thinking, you know, it's more of a small local spot. I mean, Glimmerbrook isn't a giant world anyway. So I thought like a little bit more of a cozy space that's much more about the local community versus basically it's like a mom and pop shop not a walmart if that makes sense <laughs> so that's what i was going for i was kind of thinking there's probably only one sim that worked slash lived here uh but it could definitely be as many as you want well not as many i think it would be like maximum two that lived here but you could have a few employees if needed but it's so small i don't really imagine you needing more than one or two uh but yeah just adding some more books in here. There were a lot of different books that came with Realm of Magic in uh, Show Live Edit Objects and in Debug. I think the books are from Debug and then a lot of the landscaping stuff I grabbed is from Show Live Edit Objects. I also, of course, added a bunch of the bookcases that came with that pack in here and I put some string lights through them. Those are from Toddler Stuff as well as a couple of these candles that are from Vampires, I believe. And I, I just tried to clutter it up, but not make it unwalkable in here. I wanted like a single chair. Maybe you could sit there and read some flowers. And then I'm working on the very complicated floor plan upstairs. This is the whole thing. There's, there's one separate room and it's the bathroom. <laughs> it's so complicated. Uh, so over here is going to be the bedroom space right off to the side when you walk in. And I kind of stacked a couple of things on top of each other. So there is a desk right next to the bed that's overlapping a trunk of books, which is acting like a bedside table. 
And uh, I just really liked how that looked, having things kind of overlap in that area. I was trying to make it look a little bit cluttered in this space. I think I think it definitely looks cluttered. You'll see what I mean. I was trying to make it look cluttered, but not dirty or too messy at the same time. So hopefully I achieved that. I mean, it's things are a little out of place, a little messy, but I wouldn't, they're not what I think of as like, that's a mess that's filthy that's dirty I wasn't going for that uh, but anyway we are moving on into the kitchen of course I used the countertops and the appliances that came with Realm of Magic I think they're really pretty my only complaint with them was why didn't we get cabinets I needed those so badly and they just don't exist luckily the space game one has a similar swatch so I did use those instead but obviously they don't actually match I also added a little table over here to put some clutter on. I believe it's just the bread box, some pumpkins, and then I think I also add a scale on there. Also, I wish those pumpkins snapped to the red shelf. They don't, which is kind of frustrating, uh, but that's okay. It's fine. I'm fine. Uh, so here's that scale that I had mentioned. I also really enjoyed using this basket from... Is that from Eco Lifestyle? The basket with the pillows and stuff in it I think it is and then it's just some more of the items that came with realm of magic those beautiful uh, I was a glowing hanging herbs in the kitchen as well as the like spells and potions cabinet which is right off screen right now that little hallway towards the end is just full of stuff we end up having another chair over here or like a, a little sofa, love seat, and a bookcase in the corner as well. It's like really squished in together, but I kind of liked that. I thought it was a fun little addition. And then there is a dining table right here that has some mismatched chairs. And I think I add a book, a sunflower on it. Those are the two items on the table. And then this little, this little decoration on the wall that is from the free holiday pack. The other ones all have like snowmen and, you know, Christmassy and wintry type things on them and then there's that one swatch that just has writing so sometimes I can get away with using that as a, a regular decoration not a holiday decoration but over here by the bookcases and the little sofa I added another little shelf so I could stack up more of these books over here because I just really like the look of them they obviously are magic books in the game but they also very much give that appearance so it looks really cool so excited to do that uh, I added one on the sofa as well it kind of looks like it's being eaten by the sofa but there wasn't a whole lot I could do about that unfortunately also adding a little wand case this little spell book thing over here this is actually from vampires I'm not sure what it's supposed to be but I've always looked at it like a spell book so I'll put it in the kitchen so you could you know brew up some stuff I also really wish that we had stove top cauldrons I guess I could have deck as a decorative piece added the one from spooky stuff to the stove in the kitchen but it wouldn't be functional so I just I didn't bother in this build but that's something you could definitely add if you are looking for it to look a little bit more realistic I'm not sure realistic was the right word to use there but the cauldron along with a lot of items in the sims 4 is enormous because the sims likes to give us oversized giant items that are hard to place anywhere which is really unfortunate uh, but if you're not actually going to use the cauldron and stir stuff up in it and you just want the appearance of having one I think the spooky day stuff one or sp is, it's not called spooky day stuff is it is it just spooky stuff I get so confused on the stuff pack name sometimes there's laundry day spooky stuff spooky day spook I think it's spooky stuff anyway <laughs> if you guys would like to download this build it is available on the sims 4 gallery if you search my origin id which is griffy you can also find it under the hashtag miss griffy and I will have all of that in the description down below as well as a direct download link to the gallery website if it's easier for you to download it that way we are actually coming to the end of the video now though the bathroom here is coming together. I keep it fairly simple. And then we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.